Adam Lerner, and today we are back in Lightroom. And a lot of you guys have been asking me about exporting images and how do I export my images and what settings and what size do I do? You know what, there's so many variations and so many different ways to do it, but today I wanna just touch on one particular thing. I wanna touch on one way to do it, one particular setting to do it, how to create a user preset um, for exporting your settings or exporting your photos so that those settings are locked into a user preset to save you time for the future um, as well. So here we are, we are back in that uh, film strip that we have those images that I shot with Jared the Fro in New York City a little while back. And um, I want to export this image. Okay, now there's a bunch of different ways you can do this exporting. You can go into the grid view and you can select a number of images. You can hand select images individually, okay? You can select as many images as you want to export at a time, okay? But for the purpose of this video, I am just going to export this one image here, okay? So, I've got this image edited, ready to go, and I want to post this on Flickr. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this image by holding Command, Shift, and the E key. That brings me to the export dialog, okay? Now, I've got a whole bunch of user presets in here, and I want to talk a little bit about one particularly that I've created called Flickr No Logo. Now, I've gone through the, the trouble previously to set this thing up, but let's just go for the sake of you know, the video to show you guys, okay? So the very first thing you want to do is you want to export to your hard drive in this case. Now, you can export directly to Flickr, but for this exercise, for this video, I'm going to show you guys how to export it to a folder on your hard drive, okay? So we're going to export to hard drive. And we're going to export to a specific folder, okay? There are folders that might appear in this list, but I'm going to choose by going to my desktop and I'm going to, you know, scroll down and I'm going to find Flickr and I'm going to choose that as my folder, okay? I don't want to put it in a subfolder. I don't want to add it to a catalog. I don't want to really do anything else here but just have it go to my desktop folder called Flickr. Now, file renaming. If I were to give, be giving this to a client, perhaps, I might want to change the file name, okay? And that's very easy to do. All you do is select it and you put in the name that you want to, you know, change it to, you can change the number, whole bunch of different things in there. Not something I want to do for this purpose. I'm just going to leave it as it came out in, uh, as it came out of the camera, as it was named, okay? Now, as far as file settings go, um, I'm going to be exporting this as a JPEG at 85 quality, okay? Now, the thing is, is that for sharing your images on Flickr, okay, you don't need to have full res images up there. You know, I mean, you, you certainly can. I mean, there, look, it's a debate. There's some folks out there that export their images and they're super tiny. And you just, you know, you, you go to look for more sizes and it's super tiny. You know, that can be aggravating. I think a thousand pixels at the longest edge is a nice size, okay? Now, another thing about quality is that if you go too low in the quality, it's going to look bad. It's going to look fuzzy. It's not going to be sharp. If the quality gets too high, it gets to a point where it doesn't really matter, okay? In other words, for your screen, for screen resolution, you're going to get to a point where you're going to meet that threshold and going beyond a certain quality level isn't going to make a whole huge difference. Okay, so we're going to go JPEG quality 85. Now, image sizing, reset to fit. I'm going to set this as 1000 pixels at the longest edge. There's a bunch of different ways. You can set exact dimensions, width and height, etc., 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 etc. However, for me, for my purposes, I think that maximum size for sharing on Flickr at 1000 pixels on its longest edge, 1000 pixels, <laughs> um, is fine, and I think that that actually works, although pickles would be probably more delicious. But anyway, so 1,000 pixels at the longest edge and 72 resolution or 72 pixels or dots per inch, whatever you want to call it, that's really the maximum screen resolution. So I don't care if you've got you know a, a Mac laptop, a PC laptop, a Mac screen, LCD, LED, it doesn't matter what you have, the maximum screen resolution that will be displayed from your image is 72 DPI. So if you export your image at a higher resolution for sharing on the web, on the internet, on the screen, it really kind of doesn't matter. You're just basically exporting a bloated file that's going to take longer to load and be harder to email, etc., etc. Now, if you're going to print with this image, 
that would be a different story, but we're not talking about exporting this for printing right now. We're just talking about it for going to something like Flickr. Output sharpening. I set mine to sharpen for screen. If we were, you know, printing this, I might do paper or, or, or you know, matte paper, glossy paper, whatever. I use standard sharpening. You know, it, it's it's a subtle difference, um, but uh, that's something that I've I've selected over there. Metadata. If if now metadata we've talked about before. That's all that keywording stuff. It's all your copyright information. Um, it, it's your camera settings. If you select minimize embedded uh, metadata, that means that when somebody goes to look at your EXIF information, <coughs> that information is not going to be there. It's going to be very very minimal. Okay. I'm going to not select this because you know I allow my metadata or my EXIF information to be viewed so you guys can see what kind of settings that I've used on my images on on my Flickr stream. Watermarking. Now we've talked about watermarking. You know, if I was maybe uh, sharing this on some kind of a blog or whatever, if I really wanted to brand these images, I would, you know, select the watermark and then I would select one of the different preset watermarks that I've, you know, set up in the past. I also have this in to set up um, I also have this set up so that after I export that image, it shows in the finder. That means that the, the finder window with the file that I've just exported pops up um, you know, for me to then use if I want to upload it to, to Flickr or something like that, or if I just want to review it. So I'm just going to cancel this for now, okay, and I'm just going to go through that one more time. So we do Command Shift E, and look at all these settings we've got here, okay? Now, we can go add, and we can create a user preset. I've already created this user preset, okay? So if we just hit add, we could just call this, you know, Flickr, um, AL, let, uh, let's call this ALP Flickr. Okay, and that's going to be in my user presets. And then when I want to export this image, I just, in the future, I can go Command Shift E. I select ALP Flickr and all of those settings that I just discussed there will be on that image, okay? And the cool thing about this is that, you know, anytime I want to export something and I want those settings that I just applied in that export dialog box to be applied to the image, all I have to do is Command Shift E, select ALP Flickr, hit export, and those settings are applied. Just going to wait for it to export and look, pops up in the finder and all I have to do is just open it up and give it a look. And there's my image that I am, you know, that, that's fully edited. Uh, this is a thousand pixels at the longest edge. It's at 85% quality. It's 72 DPI and it's got the metadata in it. And all it, and at this point, all it is is ready for me to upload to Flickr. So that's it for now. If you have any questions, please leave a uh, comment or a question in the comment section below or email adamlearnerphoto at gmail.com. And we'll see you soon.